In Delphi, we create menus to enhance the usability of our software and facilitate such tasks as opening a registration screen, creating reports, closing our program, etc. The T main menu component is one of the resources available in Delphi for creating menus for our forms. Let's have a look at how it is possible to create the main menu for your Delphi applications using T main menu. Let's analyze how to manipulate and configure this component and how we can create a build menu for software developed. The menu designer enables you to quickly build any menu. The menu structure for the main menu consists of a main menu component, which is represented by the VCL class T main menu. To add a T main menu component, find it on the standard palette. Select it and drag it to your form. To access the item's property, double click on the component or find it in the object inspector. The caption property is used to add text to the menu item. When we start running the project, we will see the text that we've typed in the caption right at the top of the form. To add an item select, test and a new item will be added automatically. When we open Delphi's file menu, we find some options there, like File to New, Open, Reopen, Save. The letter marked with a dash under it is called mnemonic. They are used as shortcuts. For example, we can execute the open menu item by using the hotkeys Alt plus F. Access the file menu and open it. O. Execute the open item in the file menu. We can also do this by using the main menu component. Using the symbol, and, before the item name we could add a mnemonic element to the menu item. By using the symbol, in the caption of an item, we create a separator for the menu. To add a shortcut. We must enter which key combination will be used in the shortcut field in the Objector Inspector. In this example, we use the keys Ctrl plus I when we press this key combination, it quickly opens our option. To add an image to our item, we must go to the image property, and click on load. The image will be displayed on the screen. After clicking OK, the item has an associated image. To create a submenu, just right click on the item and click create submenu.